Even when I don't see it, it's working. Even when I don't feel it, it's working. It has never stopped. It won't stop with it won't start with me. It has never stopped working. It won't begin the non-working nature with me. Sometimes I don't even know. He says, Thousands shall fall by your side, ten thousand by your right side. They shall not come near you. Do you know what? Most of the time. I don't know there was a battle. I only woke up to see dead people. Hey, you didn't hear me. Many a time I am not aware there was any battle. I only wake up to see 11,000 people are gone. How come? Even when I don't see it, you are Even when I don't feel it, you are You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Do you know what? He won't take permission from me to fight on my behalf. He won't say, Can, should I fight? He said, he that keep it down there, never sleep no slumber. Devil came to attack me. I'm sleeping. He said, my baby, keep sleeping. I am here. You see, many of us are too awake. That's why we are aware of many battles. We are too awake. Those close to God sleep in the midst of storm. And also, peace is not the absence of battle, it's calmness in storm. Peace is not the absence of battle, it's what? Calmness in storm. There was storm, Jesus was sleeping. He said, ah, You did not care that we should die. He said, What is wrong with you guys? I can't be in a boat and the boat will sink. The team of this meeting is riding in difficult times. We are in difficult season. You need an understanding that Baba is not sleeping. Even when I don't see it, you working. Even when I don't feel it, you working. Even when I don't know it, you work it. Even when it doesn't look like it, you work it. Even when nothing shows, you work it. Even when nothing indicates it, you work it. Even when nothing looks like it, you work it. Even when it looks as if I'm losing, you work it. You know, sometimes when you watch wrestling match. They are beating somebody, beating him, beating him. He's not down. He looks as if he's gone. Only for you to see in the next minute, he was only catching breath. He was only catching breath. By the time he rise up, the guy has finished expending his own energy. So then he looks as if you are down. God is intentional. When you bounce back, it will shock the world. Say, Father, I trust you. No, let me hear. Say, Father, I trust you. I can't hear you. Let me hear. Say, Father, I trust you. Say, I trust you. Say, I trust your process. Say, I trust your process. Say, I trust your process. I follow you. Give God praise this morning. Give God praise. Give God praise. And not your seat like kings and queens in God's presence. I want to appreciate my pastor, my daddy, and mommy for this privilege given to me over and over again to be here. Anytime I come to town, I'm always excited to be here. And um, thank you very much, sir. All the ministers, thank you. I really appreciate God's grace upon your life and the grace of work in this house. You are, you are a father and a mentor and a leader that we are excited to have in our, in our, in our church leaders that are secured and love the people. I've said it over and over again. At the imagine of Moses. In the name of Jesus. And when we have leaders like this who are watching our back, we can be sure that we are not going to fail. Because you have somebody who can call you to order. 
Hey, Daniel, that doesn't make sense. Thank you very much. So are in difficult times. I have a short time, so I'm just going to share something. I'll show you something. We pray. It's a prayer meeting. It's not a teaching meeting. But can I prophesy over a hundred of you that can write me like thunder, whether you are in church or those online, you will never be swallowed in the storm. Ah, Father, wherever you hear the loudest amen, start there tonight. I said you will never be ro roasted in the fire. You will never be roasted in the fire. You will never be swallowed in the storm. Whether the devil likes it or not, whether the devil likes it or not, you will not be swallowed in battle. I don't care what the enemy is planning. I don't care what the enemy is doing. I don't care the enemy agenda. I speak as God's prophet. I say you will not be swallowed. He said by prophet, Israel was brought out of Egypt. By prophet, it was preserved. I speak as a preservation prophet. I say you are preserved. 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 Say you are preserved. No matter the storm, you are not going down. No matter the battles, you are not going down. I say you are coming out. Storms are inevitable. Storms are inevitable. But you can live a whole storm. You can live as if storm doesn't exist. Storms are inevitable, right? But it's possible to be in storm and not be aware. I will show you a scripture. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Isaiah 43 verse 2. Storms are inevitable. But it's possible to exist in the storm and not be caught. Church, can we together? I want to go. I can't hear you. When, when you sit down, put I. Show me, show me, show me. Isaiah 43 verse 2. Say, when I pass through waters, God, my Father, will be with me. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow me. When I walk through the fire, I shall not be burned. Hey, you, you don't believe this scripture you are reading? Do you believe it? Let's start again. want to go. Say, when I pass through waters, ah, my father will be with me. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow me. When I pass through the fire, I shall not be born. Neither shall the flame be kindled upon me. Do you believe it? God is not a man that should lie. Has he lied before? We list that line tonight. If God speaks, it's true. He said, when you pass through water, they will not overflow you. No matter how deep the water is, they don't have capacity to overflow you. When you pass through fire, no matter how intense the fire is, they cannot burn you. Bible says, even the flame cannot smell in your body. Why? Is with me. I might not be strong as a person, but check the person with me. David said, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, not because I'm strong, but what? For thou art with me. Can I get a do I have like a small boy here? A very small person. Maybe somebody from the team church. Let's get one small boy. I fear no evil. I fear no evil. Oh, that boy can come now. Yes, come. Come, come. I am not sufficient of my own self. But the person with me determines what happened to me. Come, run here, run here. Joshua, come. Let me show you something, sir. He 
if these two boys fight, who will win? Come on. Who will win? Huh? He should win, right? But why will this boy be saying, I will kill you? Imagine he coming to say, I will kill you. The boy will be like, hey, me. But I will kill you. But don't look at the threat. Look at the person behind him. His voice might sound like he's a weak boy, but he is confident that there's somebody behind him. And that person can win the person he wants to fight with. So he keeps charging towards him. I will kill you. Why the guy is shocked? How will you kill me? He said, I didn't come alone. I did not come alone. He said, yet do I walk through the valley of shadow. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Can he carry this guy? Try to carry him. Try. Try to carry him. He cannot. But what if I join him? How? The person with him is stronger than the person he's fighting. That is the story of your life. You need to understand that no matter the fire, it cannot burn you. Why? There is a fire executioner. Who is a fire himself by your side? Ah, those guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were not afraid of the fire because they were serving the consuming fire. When the consuming fire joined them inside the fire, fire not the bonfire. Who is with you? Who is with you? Step out in the storm with the consciousness. I'm not alone. Say, I'm not alone. Say, it's with me. Wake up every day and know it's with me. When the battle is fierce, remember, it's with me. When you have a life jacket, life jacket, you are not afraid of sinking. No matter how deep the water is, you can't go down. It will make you to stay on the waters. He said the waters will come, but we will overflow you. Confess it now. Say, I'm, it's with me. Say, it's with me. Say, I'm not alone. Say, God is with me. Show me that scripture again. Isaiah 43, 2. Memorize it in the midst of the storm. Do you know what the Bible says? He didn't say if you. Wait, what did you say? Minutes will come. <laughs> he did not say if you. What did he say? When you. It's done by done. It will get to you. You will surely face the storm. Old man. To be born in the storm is a choice. You will definitely face the storm. But to go down with the storm is a choice. The battle will come. But to go down with the battle is a choice. See, I will not sink with the battle. See, I will not sink with the battle. Show me that scripture again. I want us to read it with understanding. Say, when I pass through the waters. See, I say, when I pass through the waters, my father will be with me. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow me. When I pass through fire, they shall, I shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon me. See, I believe God's word. See, I believe God's word. See, I believe God's word. Say, I'm not going down. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me show you something. Two ingredients you need in the midst of the storm. For you not to be burned. For you not to sink. Two ingredients. Number one ingredient is called the fire. You need the fire. The only thing fire doesn't consume is fire. Have you seen fire like that? Have you seen fire somewhere and they're using water and the fire does not die? Do you know that if a fire is born a big fire, water doesn't kill it? You need to have some chemicals. You need fire. Fire don't consume fire. And Matthew 3, 11 says, I indeed baptize with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Whose shoes I'm not worried to lose. He shall what? Baptize you with fire, with the Holy Ghost and fire. Luke 12, 49, I have come to set the head on fire. How I wish that the head is already ablaze 
with a fiery passion for the Lord. I have come to set the earth on fire. What will I, if it be already kingdom? Hebrews 12, 29 says, our God is a consuming fire. If your father is a fire, you cannot be less. Because fire gives birth to fire. He said, when you pass through fire, it will not burn you. Why you are a fire? Fire, not a bonfire. So you need to acquire fire. And how do I acquire fire? The prayer altar is a fire producing altar. How do I acquire the fire? Prayers. Men that pray are fireful men. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Jude 1 20 says, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Meaning, acquire fire with tongues. On the day of Pentecost, why they were seated, he said, clothing tongues as of fire sat upon them and they began to speak with tongues. Meaning, there is a connection between what you say and what's on your head. When clothing tongues of fire sat on them, the result is that there was something in their mouth. How do you increase what is on your head? Increase what you say. Men who are loaded in the place of prayers cannot be stranded in the place of fire. Because fire, the fuel for fire is prayers. Prayers is the fuel for fire. In these three days, please pray. Need fire. Another way to acquire fire is the word. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Is my word not as fire? Say the Lord. Crazy. Is my word not like fire? Say the Lord. When you take in the word, you take in fire. The more the word intake, the more the fire, the fire capacity. Jeremiah 29. Your words were shot in me as fire in my bones. When you take the dose of the wall, you take it fire. Fire. Fire comes by the word. The more you study, the more fireful you become. Fire comes by the word. Another ingredient for fire is impartation. Impartation. A man that has fire can transfer fire. Fire can be transferred via impartation. Apostle Paul said, I long to come unto you that I might impart you a spiritual gift. Impartation is a platform for fire. Elijah carried fire. Elijah carried double portion of fire by receiving the mantle of Elijah. Jesus said, I have come to set the earth on fire. Meaning, what I have, I came to give to you. A man that has fire can give fire. Say, I'm blessed. Say, I have fire. When, because of time, when you carry fire, you can't be touched. So, imagine, look at these two people. This is battle of life. The battle of life. The battle of life is coming around this boy. This is sickness. This is failure. This is rejection. Disappointment. Betrayal. Rejected. Uh, you submit a proposal. It was rejected. This is what it is. But... This is now. You want to touch him. Do you have to do this thing? So you have to do it. Just let it and do it. You are afraid. Can you do it? Also do it. No. Like it. Yes. And leave it there. It won't bore you. Yeah. Touch him. Put your hand inside his thing. Yes. He wants to hold him, but he's in fire. If you carry fire, the storms of life cannot come close. They will come around, but they will run away. Because fire is a repellent. 
fire is a repellent he wants to come he wants to come but as soon as he sees the fire is running nobody plays with fire nobody toys with fire nobody plays with fire nobody toys with fire every sickness come they see fire they run failure come they see fire they run please all of you come can i get like four people yes keep coming so all of them are coming all of them are coming so sickness came to try his own he saw fire he moved Ah, uh, cancer came to try his own. He saw fire. He moved. Failure came to try his own. He saw fire. He moved. Disappointment came. He saw fire. He moved. All the problems of life keep coming, keep coming, and they keep running. Keep just, just keep coming in circles. Just be coming and be going. Yes, you see them. Come, you go, you go. They move, they move, they move, they move. Begin to call the problem. When they come, they move. When they call the problem, when they come, they move. They don't stay. They don't stay. So you see, you are in the midst of fire, but fire cannot touch you. All the problems are coming. But they can't come close because you carry fire. The reason why problems are patching on you is that you lack fire. Have you seen us fly on a hot stove before? They only come on cold stove. They even build a house there. Problems patch on your life because you lack fire. See, I carry fire. See, I carry fire. Number two, what do you need to ride above storms? Anointing. You need the anointing. Ah, can I get three people? You need the anointing. I need two men and one lady. You need the anointing. 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 The, anointing. the devil can finish you when you are not anointed. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus on the With power. is slippery. Sickness are slippery when you have the anointing. They drop up. They drop off. You see? They can't, they can't hold on to her. Poverty is slippery when you carry the anointing. You see? They can't hold on to her. They can't hold on to her. Failure is slippery when you carry the anointing. You see? They can't hold on to her. They can't do it. They can't stick there. They can't stick there. They can't stick there. If another problem comes. Eloma, uh, come, 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 come. See another problem coming. Maybe this one is tired. You see, I can't do it again. Another problem comes to hold her hand. She comes, she comes. Maybe this is barrenness. Try, 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 try. He slip off, he slip off. And that person come, and that person come, and that person come. And I keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Maybe, can I get two more persons? Maybe it's okay, okay. Let us start doing business. She must fail. Try, 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 try. They can't stay, they can't stay, they can't stay. And that problem keep coming. I don't know the problem in your family. They can't stay as long as you are anointed. They can't stay. They try to hold you, they leave, they leave. They can't stick with you. They cannot stick with you. When you carry the anointing, problems are sticking because you are not anointed. That's about your faith. You need these two ingredients to ride above storms the fire and the anointing. 
Come in, the Lord asked me to pray for you. Come back now. The Lord asked me to cancel all the storms of life you are carrying. All, all of them. All of them. I need a Lord here. All of them. 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 Power of the Holy Ghost. The storms are over. 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 Over forever. Over forever. <laughs> Everybody carrying a storm in this house. I speak as God's prophet. By the anointing walking here. I said the storms are over. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. By the anointing walking in this house. I said the storms are over. The storms are over. The storms are over. Say this prayer. Say, my father, my father, I receive fire. I receive the anointing to ride above storms. Can you pray one minute? Pray one minute. Jabada bada bada katoma. I pray sooner. I receive fire. I receive the anointing to ride above storms. I receive fire. I receive the anointing. To ride above storms, I receive fire. I receive the anointing. To ride above storms, what up here? Yes, 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 yes. I receive power. I receive the anointing to ride above storms. I ride above storms. I ride above storms. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The platform for fire is the platform for prayer. The platform for the anointing is the platform for prayer. He said, tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued with power. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. It's the same platform. When you begin to fast and pray, you are qualified for the release of the oil. And I spoke about impartation. Maybe God will leave that day in these three days to do anointing for everybody. Releasing upon you the anointing. Hello, ma. Hello, sir. You are facing storms in your place of work. Don't cry. Acquire fire. The battle is fierce. Acquire fire. After I qualify, go and meet your pastor. Receive prophetic cover. Hello, sir. Decree. I went to preach the crusade. And the woman was pregnant. And I looked at her. And I began to prophesy the meeting. And she came out. She said, Pastor, Pastor, I've been carrying this pregnancy for seven months. Maybe has never killed. He said, But why are you preaching? And he said, I kick him. Just give back the same testimony yesterday. When they were going to deliver, the water was stinking. The baby was green. Everything smelled to the hospital when the baby came out alive. Why? The prophetic word. What will cost you stress can cost your pastor a prophetic word. He sent forth his word. His word he led them and delivered them from their destruction. Lift up your two hands. I speak as God's prophet today. Every battle you are fighting, I decree it is over. I join my faith with the faith of daddy here. And I prophesy over everybody. Every disappointment in your business becomes an appointment. Everywhere you have been rejected, you shall be accepted. Everywhere you have been rejected, you shall be accepted. The battle is over. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your marriage is over. I, I was praying in one meeting. A lady could not pay rent. The landlord told them to excuse the house. I began to decree for favor. I didn't know her. And she sent a testimony the next week. She said, Pastor, last week we were able to pay rent. And the landlord came to us after the prayer. Uh, actually, I want to sell this house. This house cost 38 million naira. By what the, 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 the value but go and bring anything you have and pay as you can pay. And the landlord left them with the house. They were going to chase them away. You don't know what prophetic utterance can do in your life. Hello, ma. Hello, sir. If you are sick and you go to the hospital and they give you drug for your stomach, where do you put the drug? Did the drug miss road? If it is a leg, where will you put the drug? Will the drug miss road? If it is liver, where will you put the drug? There's a command in his drug to locate the organized faulty. So also there's a command in the world. He knows where your problem is. I speak as a God's prophet. Everyone carrying
running a battle here. I don't care the battle. Financial, marital, academic, business, political. I declare the battle is over. The storm is over. The storm is over. The battle is over. You will not sink. You will not go down. You will not sink. You will not go down. You will rise. You will rise. Where you have been rejected, you shall be accepted. You will rise. You will rise. If you are sick, be healed. Cancer, be healed. Diabetes, be healed. All manner of HLA, be healed. Eye potential, be healed. Eye blood pressure, disappear. All problems, disappear. A business that have gone down, rise again. You are favored. You are helped. You are assisted. Somebody shout them out. If you are blessed this morning, give a shout of praise. 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 Give a shout of praise.